In a country with the world's second highest population, you expect the chaos and crowds of the big cities, but then by contrast, you can head for the hills and find these beautiful pockets of calm, a world away from the busy streets of Bangalore and with so much natural beauty to offer. Korg is just a couple of hundred kilometres from Bangalore city. It's stop number two on our southern India odyssey with scenic and as well as being known for its lush forests and peaceful surrounds, it's India's home of coffee. India's 40% of coffee is produced in our region. 40% 40 of, of the coffee, coffee comes from here in Korg. Yeah, so wow. that's why this Korg, it is known as Coffee Cup of India. This plantation walk is all part of the experience at the incredible Evolve Back Resort, set on a coffee and spice estate that covers over 160 hectares. Oh, where's the coffee? Look at the beautiful cherries. These are the coffees. Ah. You know, the, once they ripen, they'll be this red, so that our beautiful ladies come over here and they harvest the coffee. Only beautiful ladies Only can beautiful pick the ladies. coffee. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how do you harvest? I have no idea. You know, these ladies, they'll be having a beautiful fingers. The fingertips are very smooth so that they can easily peel off the coffees. Oh, so is so, that why you don't let men do it? Yes, you're right. So would you like to try? Yes. yes. So hold your I hands. I have men's hands though. <laughs> Yes, wow, look at here. So this <laughs> that is was not we... delicate at all, was it? <laughs> Amjit talks through the process from berry to bean to the final brew. A process, he says, takes many months. It's like art. Oh, it makes me want to drink coffee even more. Would you like to taste a cup of coffee? Absolutely. Yes. That's all worth it. Yes. All your work yes. is worth it. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, very much. Thank you for waking me up every yeah. morning. Thank you very much. <laughs> Just a short drive north is the small village of Baila Coupe, home to the second largest Tibetan settlement in India, and with this as its centerpiece. Oh, this is so beautiful. Yes, this is one of our uh, India's second largest monastery which is known as Nam Rolling Monastery. Still a functioning monastery today, Nam Drolling is home to thousands of monks and nuns from around the world. Gee, this is so beautiful. Yeah, look at the beautiful uh, structure and a lot of colourful temples. So it's really like a university for monks. They yes, come here course. to study, study Buddhism and how to spread peace yes, in the world. Of course, Look at the beautiful statues. How long do the monks stay within these beautiful walls? Actually, these monks, you know, some of them, they come at the age of four. Four? Yes, and they stay up to their lifetime. And they want to study the Buddhism, everything. And here they have their colleges, schooling, everything. What a totally different way of yes, life. Of From here, we're off to Kabini and the sister property of our Korg Hotel. Fronting the Kabini River and with a design inspired by local tribal villages, this is a truly special place to spend some time. Each private hut has been crafted as a happy marriage of traditional concepts and modern luxury, and most have their own pool. Just a few days in and already we've experienced the chaos of the cities, the coffee cup of India in Korg, and now cocktails in Kabini. And what a beautiful place to toast to our journey so far. Scenic always managed to find these beautiful locations for sunsets so that we can really drink in the magic of the area.